All right, it's day four of the What Sold series that marks our halfway point in the week. If you're new here, I'm doing a series where I show you every single day of videos going live from Monday through Sunday, showing you guys everything that sells in our store over the course of a week. If you missed some of the old videos, I'll leave in the description um, links to the past videos if you did miss those. Uh, and if you're still here, thank you for keep supporting and enjoying the content. And this day, we ended up doing just under $1,400 in sales. So an amazing day of sales above our average of 1,000. And we ended up selling 31 items. So we are going to have to go very quick on this video to make it not 40 minutes long. So I'm gonna to aim to try to get it underneath 30 minutes and we are just going to blow and go. So first one is Core Corin. Uh, just had these in a recent video in one of the past four videos. They make some combat boots, really good boots that sell very well. These ended up selling for a best offer of $112.50. If you're new on this video as well, every video I've said this, but uh, the price that I give you is the price the buyer paid, not including shipping, sales tax, and all that jazz. So if they send me a best offer, I will tell you the best offer amount, but it does not include any of all that stuff. As an example, this item sold all in for $150, but the number I'm going to be saying is the $112, which is the list price that they paid. So again, Corcoran, great brand. Um, recently talked about it. <clears throat> not going to go into too much depth, but it seems like most of their stuff, almost all of it, is worth pretty good money. I usually can sell these for about a hundred bucks on average. So next is Tory Richard, not an amazing brand. The sell through rate is uh, very low on it. Probably honestly 50% or less if I had to guess, I haven't looked in a while, but it seems to do pretty decent in our store. So we pick it up if it's uh, pretty cheap. So $5 or under we buy Tory Richard. Uh, it has to typically have <clears throat> some sort of pattern going for it which most of them do, but I don't recommend probably picking up this brand if you find it, unless you are at the bins or something, as again, they do sit for quite some time, but since we are a large store, we sometimes have to pick up these things that a lot of other resellers would not pick up and sell. This ended up selling for a best offer of $21.27, and as usual in every video, I'm giving the disclaimer that just because if you see something in this uh, video that we sold does not mean it's going to sell well for your store as every store is set up differently whenever it comes to returns and listing quality and all that stuff. And so if you hear a brand um, that I spit, I say, and you find it in thrift store, make sure you do your research on the item you have as every category for a particular brand might sell through differently or sell completely differently on price. So just make sure you do your research if you find any of these in the thrift store and make sure that the item fits your business model on the amount of money you want to make and how quickly it's going to sell and how for much or for how much next we have a paradise found this was in um, the last video another paradise found sold the day after um, the last one sold and so this one had really cool older airplanes on it made out of 100 percent rayon uh, paradise found like i said in the last video is a vintage brand uh, again, whenever we find these, they typically have flaws. This one did, and it wasn't as major as we typically find with this brand, but um, so we still picked it up. And this one ended up selling for the ask price of $24.77. So not as much as yesterday's Paradise found, but there was a flaw in this one, whereas the other one did not have that flaw. And this is a smaller size, men's size small compared to yesterday's 2XL. And yesterday's, if you did not see it, the one that we found sold for, I believe, $33. Next, we have a Grayson. Surprisingly, like I was saying in yesterday's video as well, or one of the past day's videos, that Grayson is falling off, and this is a great example of it. This shirt used to be able to sell for 40, 50 bucks a year ago, and um, I bought it six months ago, seven months ago, and listed it at 40 bucks, and over time, I've had to decrease price, and it finally sold for $25. So. It sat for seven, eight months and it sold for 25 bucks. So it clearly is going down in value. Like I was saying, so nothing, not even a big flaw here either. Like this is so minimal, really doesn't impact price all that much. But next we have Ryan Michael, amazing brand of Western clothing. Um, not a whole lot to say here, just about, I think literally everything, every time we find this, we just buy it without even looking, even at the quality of the item. because. Even if there's flaws on this item, we know we could still make profit on it because of how much of a demand there is for it. 
So this one um, had some of this little markings here and stuff. It's sold at a best offer of $45, so 10% off. And yeah, sold very quick within two weeks. And yeah. Next is Onward Reserve, another brand that I would probably stay a little away from if you are a smaller store as the sale prices are typically lower and whenever it comes to margin as well as the sell through rate is lower. So um, if you're new on this video as well, we don't, we, you know, we aim for a hundred percent sell through rate, but since we're a large store where my wife and I are both fully self-employed doing this, we do have to dip down to the 50% sell through rate and sometimes a little lower than that. Um, so this one ended up selling for a, the full ask price of $21 and 32 cents. We buy this brand quite often. It just has to be cheap enough and it seems to be doing okay. Like I said, it sits a little longer in the store, but it's not a big deal for us. We don't mind holding on to inventory a little bit longer if we're still gonna make our $10 profit per item minimum, so. Next is a Charles Twite. This is also in the What Sold video yesterday. Uh, this one ended up selling at a best offer of $14.55. So Charles Twite, same boat as Onward Reserve. The sell-through rate on Charles Twite button-ups is 25%. So it's very hard for people to sell them, but for us, the way our business is set up, we're able to sell through it a lot quicker than that. And, um, <clears throat> sorry. And uh, yeah, so we picked this brand up very cheap. Like it's gotta be dirt cheap to buy for the effort that it takes to list these and ship them and all that. And yeah, I, again, don't recommend picking this brand up. I think I said yesterday, we're sort of, sort of still experimenting with it as we just started picking it up. So I'm not even for sure how long or how much my data actually matters to my statement. I mean, it could be that in two months from now, it's just not selling for us at all. Next, we've got Gitman Bros. So Gitman Bros is a pretty decent brand. Uh, I don't know if they've gone down in value at all. This one sold for cheap because it had a flaw here, a stain on the front, and so, and also a snapped button down here. Usually we can get over $20 for these shirts but this one ended up selling the for the list price of 13.88 and yeah i don't really find these anymore though i think some other resellers have caught on to it i think some other youtubers have put it out in videos and stuff but i used to find them all the time next we got ib cool don't know anything about this brand my wife picked it up cuz she looked it up in the store and so she bought it and it ended up selling for the list price for 21.86 and it sold within 2 or 3 weeks so maybe a good brand out there it seems like it sold fast and for decent money so uh yeah maybe do some research on that one if you have never done any research on this one next is tommy bahama just a solid blue camp hawaiian shirt 100 percent silk size xl sorry it's a silk blend actually silk and polyester it ended up selling for a best offer of 15 dollars and 32 cents so another small margin item. <clears throat> if you've been following the channel for a long time, I've always gone through the what solds and it was the top 20 sales. Well, now you guys are getting the best of both sides, the things that we don't pick up nowadays that are still selling and the things that are like the smaller margin stuff that's just bread and butter for us. And so, yeah, pretty sweet. I'm enjoying doing these. Next, we've got a uh, Robert Graham. It also teaches me a lot on, it reminds me of what not to pick up whenever these things sell for so cheap. Next, we've got a Robert Graham. This is actually uh, a shirt that I owned. So I bought this, I don't remember where I bought this, but um, I bought it for myself and then ended up really not ever wearing it. I wore it a few times and then listed it and it sold for $26.99. So next we've got Tommy Bahama. <clears throat> this is 100% linen, really cool pattern on the front with the hula girls. And it was a size large. Yeah, size large, super, super cool. Whenever it comes to these patterns, we always pick up Tommy's like this that are unique. And this one ended up selling in a week or two for $35.99. Uh, they had this flaw here on the back of the sleeve, some yellowing, but not a big deal. And yeah. Next, we've got a pair of Cole Hans. Uh, if you've been following, I buy a lot of Cole Hans stuff whenever it comes to their shoes. Not all of it is worth money, but a lot of it is, uh, especially nowadays, it seems like it's going up in value surprisingly in demand. Uh, a year or two ago, a lot of the models weren't doing super well, but it seems now they're doing pretty good. There's more models it seems like that are doing well. But these ended up selling for a best offer of 45 bucks. So really good sale. 
these is probably this is probably one of the better models that they sell i don't know what this is necessarily called because they're all basically called zero grand blah 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 but um but yeah this this model seems to do the best out of all the models that i pick up um, whenever it comes to like commonality like i typically can find this model it's a common model uh, and it, it does sell typically for 50 bucks so next we've got carbon to cobalt a very bad brand now so a year ago two years ago this is pretty decent you could get 20 to 25 bucks and the cell three it was pretty decent as well about i don't know i think it was 60 to 75 percent at the time and now it has fallen off quite a bit so i think now the sell through rate has gone down uh to probably 50 percent or less and the sale prices are typically sub 20 dollars now so if you do find this brand, make sure you're paying very little for it and make sure you're doing your research on the patterns and sizes and stuff to check out and make sure that it is going to actually sell. That one ended up selling for the list price of 1886 if I did not mention that. Next we've got a Tommy Bahama, uh, again with flaws, no button on the bottom. Um, that's something that Kendall and I are working on hard right now this month is working on um, quality control in the thrift store before purchasing. We used to just try to do speed and buy things without, you know, looking meticulously over items instead of just like in the past, we just like quickly glance over the front, quickly glance over the back. Now we actually spend some time and go through meticulously and try to figure out if there's any flaws. And so that way we don't have these sales where we spend, you know, five bucks on a Tommy ends up selling for best off of 1340 and we make only five bucks profit after fees and stuff. So in the future, going forward, hopefully we can decrease our flaws that we're picking up as we have started pulling old inventory that's over a year old. And it seems like most of that stuff had flaws, about 90% of it had flaws, which is probably why it's not selling because they're good brands are just not, you know, necessarily <clears throat> in good condition. So next we've got a pair of Lululemon shorts, commission shorts. We've got a sale price of $31.49, so best offer 10% off. Ended up taking a little over a month to sell, maybe right at a month it sold. But yeah, we pick up Lulu stuff if we find it. It's just hard to find it for cheap whenever it comes to the men's stuff. So uh, yeah. Next, we've got a pair or a Polo Ralph Lauren woman's skirt. Uh, so Kendall picked this up. She does a lot of uh, women's clothing. Whenever I'm checking out, she'll quickly scan through the women's stuff and pick things out. Um, RLX, this sat for six months. Yesterday's video, I said we basically stopped picking up all RLX stuff. So I guess we just, I guess the comps on this are pretty good. So we tried it. And so I think with the, like a skirt like this, we probably paid $3, $4 at most. And it ended up selling for the ask price of $17.70. As I said, it took six months, seven months to sell. So very long time to sell. But now that golf season is coming up, Seven months ago, you know, we're getting into winter. Now we're coming out of it. And so now since it's getting warm, I'm sure people are starting to buy more of that stuff. So who knows? Maybe the Ralph Lauren skirts are going to get into the $20 mark here in the summer. Next, we've got a Peter Millar. <clears throat> oh, sorry. We've got a Masters uh, cotton polo. We bought this because it was very cheap, a dollar or two. And it was about it four months ago and listed it. We usually don't buy this brand anymore simply because it typically costs like five to 10 bucks to purchase. And the margin just isn't a whole lot to play with as the sell through rate is too low. The sell through rate is very low on their cotton stuff, but the masters tech polos, the ones that are polyester spandex do very well. So we buy all of that stuff. We just don't buy hundred percent cotton masters stuff anymore as the sell through rate is way too low. Um, but again, with this one being a dollar or two, <clears throat> we ended up picking it up. And it sold for 1960, the full last price. Next, we got a pair of Viore joggers. Uh, Viore is a great brand. Sell through rate is insane. These probably sold in a week or two. Yeah, these sold in a week or two. Uh, super quick <clears throat> sales all the time. Sold for best offer of 47.69. And yeah, not much to say here. Viore across the board does super well in our store and does well, and I believe everyone's store right now. Next, we've got a Mizzen in Maine, best offer sale of $26.99. So about average for what we get for our Mizzen in Maine's right now, around that 20 to or $25 to $30 mark. Uh, this one sold within a month, and yeah, not much to say here. Mizzen in Maine's going down, though, in value, as everyone knows, so just be careful with it right now. Make sure you're not overpaying for it. 
Uh, next is Bamboo K. Uh, not an amazing brand whatsoever, but it's one of our bread and butters. Like I said, we're a big store. We need a lot of items. And so this is one of those bread and butter items that we pick up. This sat in a store for eight months and <clears throat> it ended up selling for the full ass price of 1829. They have, do have some models that are really cool. Like like limited edition Christmas lines with embroidered Santas and all that stuff over them, which do very well, like $40 plus, I believe, if I remember correctly. But um, you just rarely find stuff like that. So next is an Aftco long sleeve t-shirt. So Aftco is, uh, honestly, I'm not going to say much on this because I actually don't know a whole lot about this brand. I know enough to like want to look stuff up as I'm there finding it and double checking to make sure that the specific item I have is good. So I guess some of this stuff in this brand is good, but a lot of it is low margin. So I always look it up and make sure that the item I'm getting, I'm not overpaying for, or the sell through rate's too low, but uh, we've sold a lot of their slim trunks in the past in shorts. And I think this is one of the first like t-shirts, long sleeves that we've ever picked up. It ended up selling for $17 and 64 cents at a best offer. And yeah, Next, we got some Jabo jeans, uh, some jean shorts. These sold within a week for the full last price of $29.93. I take that back. They did not sell in a week. I got it mixed up with another one I just bought. These sold <clears throat> in like seven or eight months. So priced them way too high. Um, Jabo shorts typically sell for around this mark, the $30 mark, if they're just plain like this. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say here. This brand's great. I mean, I, this is in a lot of videos and uh, we buy it all the time. It's always in the thrift stores, at least here in Dallas. I don't think a lot of people pick it up. And so we are able to find it a lot. We sell it a lot. This one sat for a while because we priced it too high. But typically we sell this stuff within three months as the sell the rate on it is high. That one sold for the full last price if I didn't say of $29.93. Next, we got a pair of Hoka Bondi 8s. I am surprised, this is the newest model of Hocus, by the way. I'm surprised whenever I comped these that the sale prices were actually like a peak of $60. Like all of them were on this size at least was like 50 to 60 bucks. So I listed it at 60 and someone accepted a, a mass offer I had sent out of 10% on a lot of listings. So it ended up selling for 55 and yeah. Hoka, again, skip over this typically quickly because it's just great all around as long as it's great condition and or good condition and uh, the right model and stuff and the right price to purchase it at. Next, we've got a Ralph Lauren, just a normal button up shirt. This was from the Goodwill bins. So paid probably a dollar for this thing. Uh, the, this is the first time we've been to the bins, Kendall and I together uh, is my second time at the bins in my life. And so <clears throat> I usually don't pick up Ralph Lauren's that have these sizes that are like 15, like the dress dress shirt sizes. But since it was at the bins and it was like a dollar and it had this colored pony, I was like, what the heck, I'll take a shot on it. And so ended up selling uh, at a best offer of 1550, took a little less than, I think it took, yeah, it took a month to sell. So really quick sale, honestly. And yeah, but, I mean, we found some good stuff at the bins for how cheap it was, uh, but it is just super boring to be there. So uh, we're probably not going to be bins sourcers ever. It's just more fun to go into thrift stores and it's a lot quicker. We can find a lot more money in the thrift stores instead of waiting around at the bins for rotations. All right. This person bought three Marine layer t-shirts from us, all three of these. And he ended up paying all in $63 and 96 cents. The store is set up for whenever people buy bulk things. Um, it automatically applies a 12% discount if they buy three items. They get, they get a 12% discount on the order value before shipping and all that. So they ended up spending $63.96 on these three shirts, and then they paid for shipping and all that stuff. And so, yeah, Marine Layer, like I said earlier in the past videos, the margin on it is pretty low, so you have to buy things cheap. I think we bought these T-shirts for $2.99 each uh, on a sale day. And, yeah, glad that someone bought all three of them saves us in cost and shipping and we get higher returns on our items as the shipping all gets combined. Next, we've got a uh, Peter Millar. Oh, and, and look up Marine layer if you find it as a lot of the stuff is not worth it, but some of it is pretty good. 
Next, we got a pair of Peter Millar shorts. We do not buy this style anymore whatsoever, even if it's free. I don't even pick up the style, honestly. Uh, this is <clears throat> um, this one sold for $14.59. And yeah, this is just the old school Peter Millar, 100% cotton. And these just have a horrible sell-through rate. So um, I don't know why we bought this. I think this is like, I don't know what to say here. I mean, we just don't buy this anymore. So if you see like the 100% cotton Peter Millar shorts, I recommend staying away from them. Um, some of their other shorts do very well, but the 100% cotton ones seem to be at least horrible in our store. So next we've got a good, good polo. I almost kept this for myself, but I didn't love the material. Um, good, good is a YouTube company. So there's a YouTube golfer out there named, his name's Garrett. And he started a company with some friends, which is good, good. And they started a channel <clears throat> and then they released their clothing lines and they're based out of here in Dallas. They live about 20 to 30 minutes from me. And uh, yeah, so this was a find in a clothing consignment store. I don't remember which one it wasn't Plato's. It was another one that's around here. And I think we paid like 10 or 15 bucks for it and it ended up selling for $38 and 69 cents. So super cool item size, small, not a great size, which is why, you know, it, it didn't sell for a little bit more, I assume. Um, but yeah, good, good. I just found a pair of good, good pants too yesterday. So, or two days ago, but we rarely find it and it's pretty hard to come across, but all their stuff seems to sell pretty well. It's actually really hard to comp because a lot of other stuff gets mixed into the comps with that because it's the word just good and good. So lastly, uh, the, the, I guess the biggest sale of the day uh, accidentally put it at last. So lastly, we have a pair of Lucchese boots, uh, sell these things all the time. If you've watched for a while, you know, this is in a lot of videos, just selling Lucchese boots. Um, I usually pay up for these things. These ones I paid 40 bucks for, and they sold within, <clears throat> well, this is actually a crazy sale. So, so I'll tell you this quick little backstory because I think it's crazy and then we'll wrap up the video. But um paid 40 bucks for these, got home, comped them out. And the, I think there was like, the South rate was not 100% on this, on this style number. And there was on the solds, I think the comps were going from 80 bucks and the most expensive one was a hundred. Uh, it might've been 70 to a hundred bucks on all the solds. And I was like, screw it. I'm just going to list this thing high and let it sit. So I listed it at 140, not expecting it to, I was expecting like offers to come in at 110, a hundred. And it, someone just straight up bought it within 24 hours for 140 bucks. And so now like, which is $40 higher than the highest comp on eBay. So sometimes even if you comp an item like this, for example, I sort of had a feeling that this would sell for more than the highest comp simply because of the condition and stuff like that. And the size being nine, a size nine is great. Um, so I listed it really high and <clears throat> I'm just glad I did because it ended up literally selling within 24 hours, $40 over the highest comp on eBay. So sometimes it's worth it if you have a gut feeling about something selling more than even the highest comp. Comps are not definitive at every single point. For the most part, they are definitives, but every once in a while, you know, you find a, a situation where it's not definitive. So in this situation, it was not and listed it high and got it sold. So this one sold for the full ass price, $139.99. Great sale. And yeah, so tomorrow, uh, going again. I think tomorrow was a, one of the slowest sale days we had throughout the week. I think it's like a $700 day if I remember correctly. And then on Sunday is another crazy sale day. If I also remember correctly, I think it was Thursday and Sunday, we did 14 and 1500 bucks. So be on the lookout for the future videos again, every single day, uh, around lunchtime, central time, these things are going live and all the way through Sunday. And then the next week we will get back onto the normal schedule. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you liked this video, click the like button. If you didn't see the past videos, definitely go check them out. There's tons of stuff in those videos as well. And yeah, and if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Catch you guys tomorrow and best of luck thrifting.